In this video, I'd like to show you how to export function names from IDA Pro and import them into Ghidra. Now we have this sample here that we want to analyze in Ghidra. Let's open it up in Ghidra's code browser and have it analyzed using the default settings first. From a reverse engineering perspective, you probably notice that some of the functions have generic names typically starting with fun underscore while others get proper names like for example this printf function. Now the magic behind this is that some library functions are statically compiled or linked into the sample that we analyze and using function recognition techniques Reverse engineering tools like Ghidra or IDA Pro can recognize these library functions that are statically linked in. Now what you probably want to do is you would like to reduce the number of functions um, that, are, um, that have these generic names. Um, so basically you would like to label as many functions as possible in case they are library functions. So in this case, we have 81 functions left, which have these generic names. And now what I would like to show you is the following trick. Basically, if you have IDA, you can open the sample in IDA and export the function names from IDA and import them into Ghidra. And that will, again, reduce the set of functions that you would have to manually analyze. Now, as a side note, you may notice that in Ghidra you also have this overview sidebar which provides a hint as to which position in the sample that you opened has what functionality. So basically what refers to as code and what refers to as data. Now the same visualization or a similar visualization is also available in IDA Pro. Um, in horizontal form and in IDA Pro in the code segment the colors differentiate um, let's say custom functions and statically linked in recognized library functions so the library functions get this cyan blue type color whereas the custom functions get this regular blue color and that distinction is not made in Ghidra's uh, code browser's overview sidebar. Now, if you're unsure uh, of what the colors mean, you can right-click this and say show legend and there you'll find some information. And also, you will find information in the help uh, of Ghidra. All right, let's get back to our problem. So we want to reduce the set of generically labeled functions. So what we do is we go into IDA and by using a small IDC script we will export these symbols. Now to give you um, a quick overview on what the script does, let's open it up in an editor. Okay. Basically it iterates the functions, gets the function's name, and if it's not one of those generic function names in IDA, which always start with the sub underscore and the address of the function, then we'll print it into a file, and that file uh, is basically what we can open in Ghidra. All right, let's go ahead. Now the script asks where to store the symbols. Let's store the result in a file called sample.symbols.txt on the desktop. Let's switch back into Ghidra. And in Ghidra, we have to open the script manager. In the script manager, we will add import sim as text string in the filter field down here and the import symbols script.py will show up. Now we double click this name which will run the script and the script will asks, uh, asks us 
where to get the symbols from. We'll point it to the sample symbols.txt file which we just generated from within IDA and press the go baby go button. Once the script has finished, what we'll notice we have reduced the number of functions with these generic names from 81 down to 65.